Hey everybody, it's Drewski McGillicuddy, and it's opening night over at the Dent Schoolhouse. So I stopped in the Wendy's because uh, it helps keep me uh, strong and whatnot. So uh, I might feel son of a bitch, I lost a nugget. God damn it. Oh no, it's just my barbecue sauce, it's good. Anyway, maybe I'll uh, show you around the makeup room, show you everybody getting all did up, show you a little bit of my scene. You never know, because, you know, who knows what's going to happen on a day-to-day -day basis. But, uh, we'll see you there. See, look, all these cars that drive down this road already know. They already know, because there's a sign that says so. We're opening this weekend, and we're going to be open until November 2nd or some shit like that. And then we're going to be open for Christmas. And there's Bubba. Say hi to Drewski McGillicuddy World, Bubba. Hello. Bubba used to be a hillbilly. Still is, but he used to be a hillbilly in the haunted house. Oh, God, how long ago was what, that? What all have you done here? Let's see. My original character was Dr. Fun. Then we did um, the hillbilly. Then my biggest one was my Jan or my uh, school bully. He was fun. Jimmy. Hopefully they can hear us with uh, all these cars driving by. Sounds like the ocean. <laughs> it's like holding your head up to a show. Yeah, but... Uh, yeah, he, he, he's one of the original gangsters. Uh, there's only three of us left that are still actors. I'll show you those people later. And then there's this new guy. But, uh, yeah, so Bubba runs the photo booth with uh, Jason Bohr. He's a wonderful photographer from Cincinnati, Ohio. What's the name of the JB? Uh, Jason Bohr Photography and then Image Empire. Image Empire. So check that out. Maybe I'll figure out how to leave a link in the description box or some shit like that. But let's look. We got a little photo booth. So when you go into the little carnival, I'm probably not going to be able to show it to you, but there's a little carnival, and they take your picture, and then you can purchase your pictures if you feel uh, that it's a necessity. Uh, but anyway, look, there's the house. Nothing much going on right now. We got here a little early so that this asshole can go fill out his paperwork. So usually I go in through that door, but I'm going to show him the right way to do things. And there's the concessions where you can get hot dogs, nachos, walking tacos. Who's in there? Mama Strauss. This is Mama Strauss. Uh, she's the owner's old lady. I mean, she's. Oh, okay. There you go. See? Say hi to the Drewski McGillicuddy world. Hey world, how's it going? Uh, but there's the hot dogs, they're getting going, and then you can get yourself a nice cold Coke if, 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 if you feel the, uh, whatever. But anyway, so we got concessions. And then there's also, bye Michelle. There's also a, what am I doing? All right, there's also a fancy uh, teeth. But yeah, look, look how long the lines get. We have all these turnstiles and it goes all the way up in front of the house, too. Because sometimes, we've had 5,000 people come through in one night, and it was completely ridiculous. But anyway, let's check out the gift shop. See, there's all the stuff you can purchase. You got uh, shirts, hats, hoodies. Ooh, I want that new pumpkin hoodie. Look at that. Look at that. Doesn't that just look... That's badass. I want it. And then you got koozies. You can buy Fangoria magazines, because we're in Fangoria magazine. Fancy little mugs that are handmade. Get all this fun stuff. Hey, what are you doing? How are we doing, Eddie? Pretty good. Looking at all the fancy merchandise. That's all the same stuff, but that's what it looks like in real life. I told them they need to get some trucker hats, but they don't listen to me. Uh, there's also, damn it, oh, there you go, Pol Poltergeist Scare Sensi, the Dent Schoolhouse. I'm going to need that shirt. I'm going to need all these shirts. These are probably the best shirts they've had since I started. Uh, and there's that one down there. I'll try to zoom in on it. I really like that one. And then there's the actual pumpkin one. And I love that because uh, Cincinnati has a brewery called Rheingeist. And they make, you know, IPAs and all your, your hipster beer. So uh, it's a play on that. And I like it. It's fun. So I'm going to definitely have to have one. Anyway, then we got to walk up this. Creepy ass fire escape, and it's creepy, and it and it, it it's a workout. It's definitely a workout. And look, if you look over yonder, you can see the slaughter yard. Maybe one of these days, I'll walk you through the slaughter yard. But until then, you know, you just have to be patient. See, look, 
I'm still not up here yet. I'm almost out of breath. Look, there's that other guy that's been here. That's a loud fan. There's the other guy. He's been here since 2007. Uh, uh, and the other girl's probably in there somewhere. I'll, I'll take you in there in a minute. All right, everybody. This is Bud Strauss. He's the owner. He's a, an entrepreneur. He does all kinds of crazy stuff. He's, he, he, he sells Christmas trees during Christmas. He's a videographer. Uh, he does pole dancing on the side. It's insane. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, seriously, say hi, bud. Hi, bud. Now, uh, will you tell us how you got into all this with your yard haunt and all that stuff? Just give me like a five-minute run-through. Sure. So we started just decorating our yard like crazy. So instead of going on like Florida trips in high school like everyone did for homecoming and all that, we would just spend our money on props. And it became an addiction. And then before you know it, uh, I met Josh. He got my dad involved. We wanted to form a business. Um, and then uh, 13 years ago, we were lucky enough to find the Boy Scouts were leaving the Dent Schoolhouse. We took it over. And then 13 years later, uh, here we are. So it's kind of like a Halloween dream come true. Yeah, te technically, we're famous, okay? <laughs> so uh, hopefully some of you get a chance to come see us. Uh, Lee McCoy, if you get a chance, I'm gonna twist his arm and we'll get you in for free since you got to drive all the way up from Florida. And, and maybe we'll let you take some fancy picture. We'll give you a press pass. Uh, or maybe maybe I'll have them take it out of my paycheck. It's the least I could do since you inspired me to do what I do. And that is going around aggravating people. Sure. So uh, anyway, thanks, bud. Hey, thank you. I wonder if Josh will let me interview him. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the makeup room. This is LaShonda. She's getting scaried up. Say hello. I'm, I, I, I'm new at this. I've never done this before. And then look, look, I'm drawing a little mustache, a mustache. What do we got going on over here? There's Lunch Lady Doris. Belly one boil. Lunch Lady Doris. Oh, look at Sarah, everybody. Oh, isn't she scary? Are you doing makeup now? Yeah. Oh my God. And then there's uh, the secretary. Got all her brushes in a row. Not all of them. All of her makeup set up. Not all of them. And then, and then look at that. Ah, ah. Where's Aaron at? Damn it. Now I'm going to have to interview you, but it's too loud in here. Or maybe I'll just come back later. Say hi, Maggie. Hi. Okay. Okay, that's good. All right, look. 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 Whose hair is that? That's okay. Ah! All right, so that was fun. I don't know where the, uh, there, there she is. is. Hey, you want to go somewhere quiet so I can ask you a couple questions? Not right now. Oh, well, you're right just now. gonna have to deal with that. Bye. Shot down, shot down. Look, that lady done hung herself. It's all for you, Damien. It's all for you. I hope my skills are good. All right, I can't show you. The over there upstairs because some of it's new, but look, no students are allowed in the basement. And like I said, for the Travel Channel video, I stood right there where he is, just all still, but it was a little darker. It was a little darker. Anyway, we got the steps, and these are some dangerous steps. Why are you going that way, asshole? You know damn good and well. I'm going to put my helmet up. Fucking bitch. Penis. What? What the fuck? When the fuck did they put the... Did you know this was in here? Alright, is it gonna is it gonna do it? See, this thing shakes its head, it sits up, and you hear that noise. Usually there's a loud burst of air that shoots out right there, and it scares the shit out of people. And that's my cue to walk away when I'm standing here. Because I'll be standing here, and then I slowly walk away, and it's all dark as fuck in here. You can't see shit. And like I told you before... Uh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, we'll walk you all the way through. And maybe I'll try to come back down and see we got these mannequins that, that move and lean forward. And then this thing actually sparks and it looks like uh, the, the thing's short-circuiting. And then you got some more dead kids hanging. And then here's here's this little boy and like when, when customers are coming through, they'll, you know, 
you're not necessarily supposed to be touching the props. You got to walk in between them. So as a courtesy, I let them know, you know, no molesting the children. Uh, it's inappropriate. Anyway, we got this guy hanging right chair. And then this is one of my favorite. This is one of the oldest animatronics we have still running. And as you can see, hopefully uh, I don't get flagged for inappropriateness because her boobs are out. Uh, and when people walk by, they'll be staring at him, and I'll walk up, and I'll put my hands over their eyes and say, uh, don't be looking at her titty nipples. It's inappropriate. This is a goddamn schoolhouse. And everybody loves it. So, uh, here's the tool room. Here's, uh, here's the, uh, surveillance cameras. Uh, so just so you know, we're always fucking watching you, even when you're not here. Uh, and this is Chris. He's, uh, one of the technical guys, uh, I thought he was security for the longest time, but, you know, he'd rather just let me fucking get my ass beat because I'm scary as hell and people can't handle it. Anyway, then we got our back hallway. That's how we get to our breaks. There's secret passages everywhere. And then, uh, even though I don't know, hold on, yeah, I'm going to put my, and this is where I keep my fancy stuff on this fancy antique sink uh, so that when I need a cold drink, I can get a cold drink. Because, ah! And then we got the uh, autopsy room. People hanging everywhere. And look look at the attention to detail. I want you to look at this. Are you looking at it? Because people come and they'll be trying to give us one-star reviews. And I can understand. Sometimes we have some actors that are uh, less than uh, acceptable, I guess you could say. But regardless... Of the acting quality. I wish this was lit up so you could see all these heads hanging here. But yeah, there's all these heads. They're all carved and they all light up when they turn the house on. Everything lights up and it's absolutely beautiful in here. But uh, anyway, people give us like one star reviews and I take off a couple points for a few bad actors. But you could walk through this house with no actor in it and it's still... Just because, look, I mean, look at the cobwebs. It's ridiculous. I mean, look at this shit. Giant fucking spiders. That's new, so I'm not, I'm probably not allowed to show you that. But anyway, I'm an adult, I do what I want. But, uh, but, uh, yeah. So it's like, don't go give somebody a one star review just because you're an asshole. Uh, here's the other funny thing a lot of people will give us one star reviews. Because they have to stand in line for two to three hours. It's not our fault that everybody and their mother... Jesus Christ. All right. All right. Here's the, the bug room. The bug room. Yay, the bug room! All right, here, here's, here's the room that Sarah helped build. I, mean, I just want you to look at this. Because this shit's absolutely insane. And I need you all to come see it in person because the video doesn't do it justice. And I've never noticed this thing. I don't even know if this was here last year. Uh, that's inappropriate. But, uh, yeah, so there's a girl levitating on this table and then a vampire comes from somewhere. And, and you know, whatever. All right, so, oh, here's the here's the hole that I popped out. Of at the guy, I just dove through this thing and then trapped him back in there. But uh, that's probably the most I can show you because everything else is kind of new. Uh, I'm gonna go show you the break room, but after that, we'll see what happens. All right, so this is where we go to our break, and then there's Chris. Oh, this is where I was coming to begin with, wasn't yeah. it? I got lost in there. Yeah. All right, we used to have a one single porta potty right here, and it was the most disgusting thing ever. But now we have two porta potties. That's two porta potties. And look how clean they are inside. It's crazy. And it's got an automatic light that comes on in the dark. So that, that, that helps me and other people when they're trying to grab their, you know, whatever. And then this used to be in our auto body shop. But now it's just sitting out here collecting dust. Oh my God. 
They must have forgot they were in there. Oh no. Chris, did you know these people died in here? Oh no. Fuck it, I'm early. There ain't nothing necessarily new out here. Or is there? I don't know. But yeah, here, I'll just show you from the outside. Maybe it'll entice you to come in here more. Oh, there's a bunch of pigs in there. They're dead. They're dead. Oh shit. I'm just, I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna go in the back way. I don't even know why this light's still on. But whatever. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Nothing really matters. We got these dead kids. This is the end. Ugh. That's disgusting. That's absolutely disgusting. They used to have a big air cannon in there and it would uh sound like a machine gun and it would snap your picture as you walked through there. Uh, the one year I worked out here, I was up on this platform here, uh, and I'd hide behind the sheets, you know, be all crazy and shit. But I'd like, I used to love to stand here, and when they'd walk around, I would just, just, just charge them. Ah! Isn't that sexy? Huh? Isn't that sexy? And then this is where they keep the caged chicks. This is where the victims are. I'm not going to walk you all the way through here, but uh, it's basically Cincinnati was founded by uh, pork people. People people with pork. Uh, it was Pig City. Uh, so now it inspired the Queen City Slaughter Yard. So it's just a bunch of people running around with chainsaws trying to cut your ankles off. Uh, so if that sounds like something you're into, come and see us. Uh, anyway, I can't think of nothing else to show you right now. This might be all I can show you. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the video tonight. Uh, or I might have to wait till like a Sunday or a Thursday when it's not so busy. And then after hours, I'll have somebody run through with me. And I can show you what it looks like with the mood lighting on. I don't know. But anyway, thanks for watching. Just in case... Just in case I don't film anything else. Because I was going to interview some people. Uh, actually, yeah. We'll go interview Chris. So, uh, Chris. Why don't you uh, tell me how you got started with this shit. Um, I was at work. Came home. Uh, hanging out with my cross street neighbor. And he asked me if I wanted to go to a haunted house. I said, yeah. Had no idea I was going to work. He had every idea for me to work. So I came up thinking I was going to be a guest. He basically Who was that? Me, uh, Brian Round. The guy that used to say, get the fuck out! Yep, yep, big heavy set dude uh, with short black hair. He's had mama's, mama's boy tattooed on his arm. Yeah, I remember him. But yeah, he threw me into the uh, the costume room. Told me to get a costume. I picked my own costume, put a wig on, and they put me into, I think it was uh, the biology lab. It was like, uh, yeah, was that 12, 13 years ago, something like that? 12. I'm pretty sure it was 12. When the hell was 2007? Anyway, my first year, I was in the funeral parlor, so we've come a long fucking way, because we used to have Wolf Woods. There was a, yeah, a, a weird little... Uh, hillbilly shanty. Well, there was a hillbilly shanty, then there was this this wall where if you touch it, it would, it would shock you. Oh, my God. Yeah, I remember that, right there by the vagina. Oh, my God. Uh, it's Charles Manson, everybody! See, this guy doesn't need makeup. He doesn't need anything. He comes straight from home, ready to go, ready to scare people. Ain't that right, Steve? Yep. He's a man. He's a man of few. Oh, I didn't want you people to know I smoked. Oops. But we are in the break room. But anyway, uh, yeah. So that's probably all I'm going to show you. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. All that bullshit. Um, and maybe we'll see you next weekend with the lights. The mood lighting. I don't fucking know. I don't know. I have no idea uh -huh. what the fuck I'm doing. Bring your kids, cause uh, they have a lights on tour. Yeah, they get candy. Half these shit. people aren't even from Cincinnati. It don't matter. They should come to Cincinnati and get free candy for the. You hear that, Lee McCoy? Bring your kids and get them some free candy. Free candy.